Friends, today I will cover what kind of poly house we should set up. We talked about three structures broadly. We talked about flat roof poly house. We talked about naturally ventilated poly house, and we talked about climate control poly house. Now, out of these three, which is the one that you should set up, and which is the one that should work for you? It's very easy for us to compare all of these because we already have all of these kind of poly houses where we have been growing crops since many years. We are growing in a flat roof poly house. We are also growing in naturally ventilated poly house. We are also growing in climate control poly house. Now let's talk about the flat roof poly house. We have our flat roof poly house in an area called Dev Bhalora. It's around 60 kilometers from Ahmedabad. The annual weather average temperature is around 40, 41 degrees centigrade, and during peak summer it easily crosses 47, 48. uh if you would have seen my video about flat roof poly house i had told that in such kind of a poly house you can bring the temperature down by only 3 to 5 degrees if you install fog or another 2 to 3 degrees so when the temperature is 47 48 the best we can get inside is 40 to 43 at that temperature most of the crops that we want to grow where we have a market cannot grow so we use this poly house only for a period of time and then we light vacant for another period of time our growing season is from october to april so uh, from october till april we use the poly house we use the flat roof net house we grow crops in this and then from april to october we again don't grow crops in it because of the high heat because of the temperature control that we get from a flat roof poly house now the other option is a naturally ventilated poly house the poly house where i am standing right now it's a naturally ventilated poly house the second option we talked about is naturally ventilated poly house right now i am standing inside a naturally ventilated poly house this is our poly house in electronic city in bangalore yeah. here the weather around the year is very good so maximum we face is around 35 degree centigrade only january till april this four month is something when we face a little bit of high heat till 35 degree centigrade rest of the year the weather is very good so naturally ventilated poly house works perfectly here now the next poly house is a climate control poly house i'll further subdivide into into two parts a climate control poly house as per nhb standards nhb's national horticulture board and a climate control poly house which is a low height poly house as per nhb standard the poly house should have a height of 4 meter at the sides and around 6.5 meters in the center and a low height poly house that we do has a height of 3 meter at the sides and around 4.5 meter in the center we do both of these kind of poly houses and we have both of these kind of poly houses where we are growing crops in ahmedabad the difference between these two is in the high height poly house the volume of air that you want to cool is high so your cooling expenses it will higher in a low height poly house the volume of air reduces your cooling expense is less and cooling is better having said that in the same breath a low height poly house will face humidity problem which a high height poly house will not uh, face plants do transpiration and if you have ever been inside a poly house or if you have any automation installed if you have seen the poly house during the night time in a poly house the humidity can easily cross 85 90 maybe 95 in a high height poly house you will have less difficulty in dealing with humidity in a low height poly house you will have more difficulty in dealing with the humidity so that was about four different kind of poly houses and we are going in all four of these so we understand what is right and what is wrong and what works where now the question that we should come back to you is what is the best poly house structure for you what is it which kind of poly house that you should set up there is not one straight answer understand your environment study the weather pattern and then decide what is the kind of poly house that you should set up let me give you some geographical examples if we talk about bangalore it rains frequently here so a flat roof shade net house without rain is not a good option or not a good choice in bangalore you can go for a naturally ventilated like we have done you can also go for a climate control if you want that during those four difficult month also you should be able to grow off season crops and increase your profitability now let's move to the western belt of india let's talk about gujarat rajasthan areas like that which are warm which are dry you can go for any three kind of poly houses there we have a flat roof poly house we have climate control poly house of low height we have climate control poly house of high height and there are many farmers going in naturally ventilated poly houses also there they are growing indian crops which are hardy crops in those poly houses so you can grow for any kind of poly house in this kind of belt now let's say if you move to a area which is very high humidity for example if you move to kolkata or chennai where humidity is a very very big problem you should not go for a low height poly house you should go for a high height poly house so the humidity management becomes easy you have to be very very focused on ventilation you should go for automation to control the ventilation of your farm if you are in a very humid area 
Now, let's say if you are going in an area which is very cold, let's say you are going to hills, you are going to Ladakh, you are going to Himachal, or for example, we have very recently set up a farm in hills in Uttarakhand on a mountain. It is a farm for growing cannabis. In such a farm, you should go for a poly house, not for a flat roof net house, because those areas are very cold areas. And the main objective of a poly house is to trap the heat rays inside, to heat up the environment. And in such an environment, you need a poly house which can heat up the area inside when outside it's very cold right so depending upon which geographical area you are in which is the nearest resemblance to all of this you should decide which kind of poly house you should go for i hope this information helps you use this information if you have queries come back to us we'll try to answer those and then make a informed choice on the kind of poly house that you should set up which should improve your chances of success in your next venture mm -hmm.